Okay, I'm going to show you how to swap out the battery in your power wheels. This is just an old beater power wheels that I gave, I don't know, probably like 10 bucks at a garage sale. Um, sometimes you can find them at the curb because people throw them away. The reason I do that, the factory batteries are, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks. You can see they're quite a bit smaller than what I'm going to put in it. Uh, we're going to put in a lawnmower battery. It's also 12 volt. Now, with this being 12 volt and 12 volt, this one would be pretty simple. Now, I've also done, uh, with the Power Wheels brand, if it's a 6 volt, you can put in a larger 12 volt battery, and it will work. Um, it'll actually go twice as fast, and it won't last quite as long. Um, probably not quite designed for that, but it's a lot of fun for the kids. But, the way we're going to do this, we're going to make it where you can use your original charger that plugs into the side of this, your charger that goes here, we're going to make it charge this battery. Now, I already actually did most of the process, but I'm going to kind of walk through it, just kind of give you a quick show what we did. So, I wanted this to where my kids can plug in the charger and charge around there. Now, now, granted, you could easily just hook a car charger up to it and charge it every night or once a week or whenever, but it's a lot easier just having the kids do it. So, pretty simple. So, this plug here, I'm going to show you the battery I actually took it out of. Here's this battery. So these are the same. Now, what a lot of people don't realize, the battery part is this part down here. Up here is just the plug and the wire and what all. So all you'll do, you'll take a flathead screwdriver and you'll put it right here at the very top corner and just kind of pry a little bit and all of this stuff will break off. Now when it breaks off, there's a plug here and the two wires. Um, you'll have a black wire and a white wire. And when you cut your original plug off, now I already cut mine off and wired it together, but the plug that goes to the power wheels, let's see what I did with that. Oh, it's right here. So the plug that I took out of the power wheels, as you can see, it's got a plus and a minus. The white is positive, the black is negative. Same with, here's the plug that we took out of the battery, and it is the same thing. Your white is positive, black is negative. So literally all you're going to do, connect your two white wires together, your two black wires together. You will need to cut out a small area. I cut out this piece here. Just get like a sawzall. I used that. Use a sawzall. Cut that piece out and all that does, that makes it so this larger battery fits down in there. And then when we bolt it in there, we have where we can charge it and it run now let me find a little flashlight i know i brought one over here um pause video okay found the flashlight so on the charger you can kind of mount it wherever you want this little charging block but very important that light's really bright if you'll notice on the inside of that the charging port goes in the center now the two outside pieces that's where when you're plugging the vehicle in, the piece that, let me go back to that other piece, that other piece that plugs into here from the, the car, the original piece plugs into that, it uses the outside. We're no longer going to need the outside, so that's why I drilled those holes right there to the outside. You're not going to affect anything on that because your charger only plugs directly into the center of this. So it's a smaller charger, it plugs in there. But the beauty of this, like I said, it's firm, it ain't going nowhere, and wiggle the whole thing. Um, and your kids will be able to plug it in and out, and you don't have to mess with it. And because your charger is 12 volt, it will charge that 12 volt battery. Uh, let me get it installed and I'll show you. One more thing while I'm here, I almost forgot. So there's a like a white bracket that's in there that holds the battery in from the factory. It's a little white thing that folds over. Now there's two screws that hold that white bracket in. Make sure and put, on this model anyway, if you have a Jeep, make sure to put those two screws back in because they actually hold the body to part of the little frame piece or whatever you want to call it. Um, so just make sure you get those two screws in. Again, you can do this with any power wheels. You just have to figure out how you're going to put the battery. Um, I've done it on the trucks and the Jeeps and several different ones, but I thought I'd show people how it's done. Again, this is just some old beater, but let's see how she does. Okay, she is in there. And again, you'll see where the, the white wire come in here. Runs in with that one. These two are connected on this post, that's my positive. Then I have my black that runs over, 
and the two wires, the one for the charger and the one from the, the Jeep itself, comes into my negative. Now my charger, the way I have it, you can close the, get these things out of the way. So hood closed like it's supposed to. The kids know when they want to charge it, they just pop that up. The beautiful thing about this battery is it literally, it lasts about a week. And my kids ride the heck out of these things. So I don't know if I mentioned it, that battery's 30 bucks versus $60, $70 for a battery that lasts a day or two. So I'm telling you, this is the way to go and it's really not all that hard to do. So now let's see what she does. So, oh yeah, look at that. So, there you go. Now, granted, uh, usually I paint these things up, make them look nicer, but this is just some beater I got from a garage sale. We'll put a $30 battery in it and see how long the kids like it. So, hope you learned something. Hope you liked it. Uh, have a great day.